if you quit the game on PS2, it's nowhere near the same as um, GameCube and Xbox. It starts a timer, like, it's like, once you press quit game, there's like four seconds until it quits the game. And in those four seconds, you can do anything. So if I press quit game now, I can go back into the real game before it quits me out. <laughs> okay. So, so, I was like, okay, what can I do with this? I tried unplugging the controller, like, when I was just in the game, and it doesn't do anything. What I have to do, for now at least, this is the only known way, because I literally just found it. You jump above a mystery machine, you quit the game, you load the mystery machine, and then you unplug the controller. And then if you unplug the controller uh, on a mystery machine, it does this. Oh, I see. Oh. And you oh. have to you have to do the the quick game thing, but here we are. All right, so Jolly, so Jolly could still technically do spring sport storage then, because there's a mystery machine like literally right next to it. So. Yeah, you can do it right there. Yeah. And then you just go into a memory slot with the map, and you need to save the game. So just save over that. And now it looks like it's um stopped, but if you press pause, you see there's like a triangle to exit in the corner. If I hover over quick game and I press that triangle, boom, two pause things. So I press onto each other, I press, and boom, pause sword. Oh. And you can see it says warp. Um, so. so, yeah. Nice. You have to have it activated, like GameCube, it seems. I'm pretty sure we can probably find more glitchy stuff on PS2, because PS2 is so fucked and we just didn't even know. So, yeah. Nice. It's Jolly not as useful like as GameCubes. This... But, you know, Jolly, Jolly can get closer times to GameCube now. <laughs> yeah. So, let, let's go. We'll find fade skip on every load for PS2, so the loads are a bit faster. 